Hi there, and welcome to Deadline Funnel. My job here is to walk you through the Deadline Funnel admin so that you can very quickly get, get going with creating your first Deadline Funnel campaign. So let me introduce myself. My name is Jack Bourne. I'm the founder of Deadline Funnel, and on behalf of my team, I wanna say welcome. We're so excited to have you here. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, before we begin, I wanna point out bottom left-hand corner, you can always click Need Help, and also, on most of the pages of our admin, if not all of them, bottom right hand corner, you can also click to send my team either an email or to chat with us live, depending on what hour it is. My team is amazing. They're gonna give you more than just the typical software support team response. Now, one thing I highly recommend that you give us as many details as you can, including the URLs where you're using Deadline Funnel. That's just gonna help us give you information quickly. All right, let's dive in. So in step one here, we need you to put in a campaign name and category. So what are those? So first of all, you need to know you're the only one who's gonna see these values. So a campaign name, let's say for example, I'm creating an evergreen campaign. I might call this seven day evergreen. For category, I would recommend that you put in the name of your product. It's a great way for you to group the different campaigns you're gonna to use to sell that product. But again, you can choose whatever category name you want. And once you've created uh, one or more categories, uh, you will have these in the dropdown. So for example, we have a product called Stealth Selling. So I will go ahead and just type something in here. So I'll call this uh, product category demo and I'll hit enter and then I'll just choose it from the dropdown. So there we go. I've created a new category and I've chosen it. Got my campaign name. Now, the icons. These are the logos of the tools that you've told us that you're using in your in your build out, in your funnel. So in this case, we're using ConvertKit, Kajabi, and ClickFunnels. Now, you're most likely gonna see different icons. Now, if you ever wanna change these while you're going through, you can change them now by clicking on one and then just choosing from all the different landing page builders or email software systems that we integrate with. We integrate with pretty much everything. So you can just choose whichever one you want. So for example, I'll change that to lead pages. Um, same thing with the email platforms. You can change email platforms very, very easily, but I'm gonna leave that as ConvertKit for this example. Uh, you can always change this later, by the way. So very easy to do. So we've given it a campaign name, a category. We've made sure that we're using all the various tools in our technology stack. So let's click next. So when I do that, I come to the blueprints page. Notice on the left that we've got uh, four or five steps depending on how you've chosen to set this up. So we're in the blueprint stage. This is where you're gonna choose the type of deadline funnel campaign you're gonna set up. If you don't know, choose the email sequence and special offer, but let's take a look through some of the other ones. So we have the automated webinar, pretty self-explanatory. If you're using an automated webinar, we recommend you choose that one. The 15 minute upsell, I do wanna explain that this could be a five minute upsell. It could be a 30 minute upsell. Basically anytime that you have a very short, fast action type of upsell, uh, whether it's 15 minutes or some other time, you would wanna choose that. Messenger bot promotion, uh, this would be for mini chat or chat fuel, anytime that you're using Facebook Messenger in your marketing. Day of the week is really popular with some of our clients because it gives you the ability to choose a specific day of the week, such as having the deadline always end on a Thursday. The next one down is great for fast action bonuses. It's not the only way to do fast action bonuses. You could do a time-based one, but uh, which by the way, would be great for the 15 minute upsell. Uh, just a short, because the 15 minute upsell is, any for, is for any fast action uh, deadline. But this one is for X number of the first people who purchase. So if you want to offer something to the first five people who purchase, let's say, Deadline Funnel will actually integrate with your order page system, such as SamCart. Uh, we also integrate with Zapier, so it opens up a lot of opportunities for us to track automatically the first number of, the first buyers who come through, and when a certain number is hit, that deadline is complete. Holiday or fixed date promotion, I bet you know what this is. This is like a Black Friday event or something like a product launch. And then page visit would be for any time that you just want Deadline Funnel to start tracking the visitor as soon as they land on a page. So for example, you might be sending traffic from Facebook directly to your page and you're not doing any sort of opt-in or lead generation. So if you are doing opt-in or lead generation, let's just pretend that we're doing that. We're gonna choose email sequence and special offer. So we'll click next. 
Now, this has taken us to a, an, a page to integrate with our email platform. If you've chosen a different email platform, it's gonna show something different than ConvertKit. So I'm just gonna walk through really quickly and just uh, choose some demo values, but this is being pulled directly from our ConvertKit account. So I'll just choose those demo values, click Create Webhook, and boom, I'm done. I've integrated with ConvertKit. Again, if you've chosen something like ActiveCampaign or Infusionsoft, your page here will look different. So I click Next, and we get to deadline length. Very easily, I can increase or decrease the number of days, either by doing the up or down arrows or by highlighting and just entering in the value. I can also, instead of choosing days, I could make this, instead of seven days, I could say this is going to be seven minutes, let's say. Let's change it back to days. Um, I recommend you keep the time at 11.59 and control the, the time zone. You can do that by just typing in, starting to type in, uh, the time zone. So for example, if I want Pacific, I can just start typing in Pacific and right here is the one I want. So once I've chosen the uh, the number of days or minutes or hours, I can go ahead and click next. By the way, these settings you can always change later in the admin. Now for pages, this is, this is where you're going to indicate the URLs on your website or on your in your funnel where you want Deadline Funnel to do something such as show a floating bar with a timer or do any of these other things that Deadline Funnel can do. So if you're at this stage and you're thinking, oh, I don't have this page yet, it doesn't exist, I'm still building it, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and make up a page. So I'll make one up with a website I've got. So let's just call it Special Offer Demo. And same thing with the after page doesn't even have to exist as long as you change it later. So sorry, you missed it. There we go. Now, if I wanna go ahead and add additional pages, I can do that, but you can always add those later. So for right now, let's just click finish. And there you go. You and I just created our first deadline funnel campaign. So I wanna show you the quick start guide because this is where our system has taken the tools that you've told us you're gonna use in your funnel and the type of funnel in the blueprint. As you see at the top, we've got the blueprint and the platforms. So based on that information, everything else on this page walks you step by step uh, through the actual build out of your funnel using Deadline Funnel. So for example, I can click on need help and that's gonna take me not just to the knowledge base too, but to the actual specific page in our knowledge base that is going to use, for example, ConvertKit. Why ConvertKit? Because in this example, we chose ConvertKit. If we chose an active campaign, need help would take me to an article on that. So when I'm ready to set it up, I don't need to know exactly where in the navigation that lives because I can just click setup. And when I've done it, I can go ahead and click mark complete and this circle will turn into a check mark. Now, you're not required to mark it complete. It's just a handy way for you to keep track of where you are in the process, especially if this is your first deadline funnel campaign. And so this just gives you the ability to go step by step through the various parts to be able to create the blueprint that you've indicated that you want to create using the tools that you say that you're using. So everything is specifically set up for the tools that you're using. As an example, the code for the email timer, this is gonna be set up specifically for ConvertKit. Our system automatically does that for you. So the timer code, guess what? That's specifically set up for your email platform. Same with the email links. So our documentation tells you exactly what you need to know when you need to know it about the tools that you specifically are using. And that's how you create your first deadline funnel campaign. We're so happy that you're here and we know that when you put Deadline Funnel into action, it's going to increase your sales. We're here to help you get from where you are to where you want to be. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here to help you and we hope to have you as a client for a long time. Once again, my name is Jack Bourne and welcome to Deadline Funnel.